for trusting us. Thank you, Lassie. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Mika. No problem, boo. Okay. Yes. That was great. How did you, what about shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Let him see it, let him see you oh, 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 oh. YouTube channel thank you so much for tuning in make sure you click the notification but uh oh not but but button um subscribe and do all of that please share with your family and friends I love seeing y'all's comments I, I just love y'all so much because you just give me a way of relatability and connectivity so thank you thank you thank you but here's the weekend um I went to see my nephew Jacob I went to Dallas I think I went to Chicago then I went to Palm Desert it was just a packed weekend so just taking you to not a day in a life with key but maybe a week in a life with key um, I like to say often Mondays are my Saturdays because usually I'm working like from Friday until Monday, maybe Tuesday, maybe my Saturday, give or take, you don't know. So here you go. Check it out. Um, it was really special. So here we land in New York. Jacob is being featured in Dr. Jackie McCullough's musical, which was very special. So we were here in New York. Um, J. Drew and Jacob were here for like a week, and it was just so special. They were on great parent duties. Um, so here it is. Check it out. Jacob did so good. He reminds me so much of, um, of myself, and I'm so proud of him.
Okay, here we were in Palm Desert, and um, I flew in, had to do a drive, met Shamika there. This turned out really well. One thing, uh, uh, one thing that I noticed is that I'm always ready to pour, but when I'm pouring in the audience is just expecting and just ready for it and it's just great energy it's so much more that comes out of me that I just am so excited about and I was super grateful to be there with um, Lady Kemp this was a pajama party so that's why you see me in this lounge suit um, I'm not quite fond of myself with my big thighs sitting there like this but y'all know I'm a big girl um, so we minister it was great the Lord blessed me tremendously um, and so here is some of it for tonight I'm sorry to yell at you, but I said that I was going to be vulnerable, and I haven't told anybody this, and hopefully you won't share it. We sisters, we sisters tonight, right? Makeup on and them good eyebrows and them good eyelashes to hide whatever. She can discern that my sister's soul is weary. And so though we talk about being built for this, we talk about being built for this, a part of the makeup has everything to do with who I'm connected to that can get me to Jesus when I can't get to him myself. If you think about Mary and Mary, uh, you, 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 they have two different stories, but they eventually connected by way of Jesus. Oh, come on, sisters, talk to me. And so I just want to encourage us to know that it's okay, I tell everybody this, this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, confess your faults one to another that you may receive healing. Then it says, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Now, I like to break down this scripture um, and the Lord has really, he convicted me because I used to be one of those church going members that will run out of church right after because I ain't want to deal with nobody. Anybody ever dealt with church hurt in here? Oh, I'm the only one that dealt with church. Y'all ain't here. Y'all in your pajamas, but y'all ain't ready to talk pajama. Okay. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's okay to respond if you've been there. Shake up your sister a little bit and say, it's okay to kick it real. Because even the Bible says, confess that. So we shout over the prayers of the righteous availing much, right? And so we talk about availing. I got some English majors in here. The E-T-H on the end, it means to continue. It has to happen. Availing. So availing means, first of all, when we talk about scripture, we learn the scriptures. The Bible says that it's God-breathed, God-inspired. So if the scriptures are there, I've got to trust that there are answers in the scriptures. So I gotta get some sisters around me where they're not just depending on my building makeup, but I need your building makeup to be God breathed. Your conversation needs to be a living revival. Your conversation needs to refill me with scripture. I dare you to turn to your neighbor and say, Well, you got some scriptures for me. So, no, I'm not asking for us to be all churchy and stuff, and you know, the, you can have a good time. God wants you to laugh. He talks about the joy. Anybody got the joy of the Lord in this room? And so I, I, I said, Lord, I need some friends. I need some co covenants and some connections that are not always pulling from me. You know, sometimes people can be pulling from you without even asking you questions or asking you, I need something. But there are some of us who have been rooted and grounded in the word, and we've been like um, uh, uh, the, the popular auntie or, the, or big mama that got the strength, and they say she's strong, she can take it, and, and then we forget about asking them, well, how was your day? How, was, how, how, how did you sleep? How did you? So I want to encourage you, hallelujah. I want to encourage you that maybe you the backbone of your family tonight, but God remembers you. If don't nobody else remember you, God remembers you. But I gotta make sure that my pain, my misery, and my disappointment does not me uh, disconnect me from the Father. I've got to remember that I too gotta pick up the phone. I can't become so resentful or become so bitter to where I think it's too much for God to handle. The Bible says, if God be for me, who can be against me? So I know that if the Word says uh, the
And now we're in Chicago. Um, this is from Rise Phone. And um, this was great. It was fun. Um, it was a more seasoned crowd. So they was kind of chilling, but the Lord blessed me. And it was a lot of fun uh, being on there with Legends. This was with uh, Uncle Ricky, uh, Mr. Fred Hammond. It was a whole bunch of other. Diedrich Hatton was there. It's just It was just great. Um, and the crew came out. So then we after this, we got on the road and we all went back to our church services. And um, yeah. <laughs> back at home i was a little bit late but my husband held it down shout out to mr jordan kelly and shout out to our leaders our parents bishop J. Drew sheard and dr karen clark sheard um, they've allowed us to be uh, youth leaders at our home church grady emmanuel institutional church of god in christ and our youth team is super dope and um just thorough and committed and so we did this back to school event and i we gave a lot of stuff away and shout out to all of you who donated as well from the last live that i did but here are some photos of the six success of it and we had um affirmations um for the young people that they were able to take home so um it was a great week a great weekend and god is good he's still with us and we're still moving i'll post more soon make sure you too subscribe to my facebook subscription so you can get more exclusive content thank y'all i love y'all bye